Hi, um, my name's Nathan Eastwood. Um, I'm a painter. Um, I thought I'd do a um, short um, video um, for my channel, YouTube channel. Um, there's going to be changes with my YouTube channel at some point. Um, I'm thinking about how my YouTube channel will um, evolve. Um, so that's something I'm thinking about. Um, I wanted to do um, sort of kind of um, a little bit of a kind of summary really. Um, I wanted to sort of um, talk about uh, the change that's about to happen um, as maybe some people might know um, I've been using um, enamel paint on board um, on gesso primed board for I've, for about you know 10 years or so and um, you know using enamel paint is something that I've always um, enjoyed I, I love the the quality of the painting the quality of the outcome um, but unfortunately um, I'm looking to change um, I'm looking to change from oil uh, sorry from enamel to oil paint and the reason being is that um, um, home, um, enamel paints have been taken off the market due to health issues um, related to the product, potential health risks. So they've been taken off the market um, in England and across Europe. Um, so if you go on to um, certain websites such as Humble, um, you can't buy them anymore. Um, so with that, um, you know, huge change um, being taken off the market means that it's put me in a situation where I now need to change um, um, paint. Um, so I am now looking to um, start working in oil. I've just recently bought some Michael Harding uh, titanium white and uh, ivory black. I like the warm brownish sort of black. It's a nice warm feel to the to the black. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've got um, a medium with a liquid, um, fine. But I'm also looking for another liquid for um, for the early stages of the painting, for the underpainting and for the overpainting. Uh, the liquid fine, liquid fine is specifically for. The intention is I will use that for far more sort of the last finer details of the painting. Um, but the reason why I, you know, go back a bit, the reason why I actually started making paintings in, in enamel, you know, you, going back to 2003 actually when I saw uh, a painting show um, in London actually, I was doing my, de uh, my degree in Canterbury and um, I remember going up to London to see this big group show. Uh, which had um, a range of artists in. Some of them were tutors, some weren't. Um, the artist Jules Shaw was in that show, and I remember looking at this painting of a bank, grassy bank and pavement, and that was used, that was you know, painted in enamel. And when I saw that painting, I um, immediately loved the aesthetic quality, the immediacy of that paint, the glossiness, the finish was, in my view, uh, a beautiful captivating work and it was that that inspired me to try enamel paint myself so I went back to the studio on my degree and I um, started trying out these paints working on board and I really enjoyed that um, the subject became about a particular interior space um, which is actually a church space a sort of utilitarian space um, it was quite ambiguous this space and uh, I was photographing it and making, making paintings about that. Uh, when I got into my master's degree I actually um, was exploring oil paint, um, continued with enamel, um, doing loads of different stuff um, and um, yeah it was you know, an interesting time. After my master's degree in 2011 and on I started to just purely make enamel paintings on board of the subject matter that I that I work with. Um, so I will continue to use um, 
this, I will still work with the same subject matter, um, looking at sort of everyday life, people sitting in certain places, cafes, laundrettes, or um, you know, sitting or standing or doing something that has um, some sort of hopefully um, con um, content that has currency. Um, but yeah, there's a huge change now. So I've moved away from these. I'm moving away. I've, I'm waiting to pick up my paint that I've ordered. Um, this is the recent painting I've just finished. Um, yeah, with, without a title. I'm also about to, well, look to get it photographed, um, documented. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah. Um, Huge changes are about to take place. Um, I've been working on it with enamel for so long now that it's the way that I work with enamel is quite, I'm quite, it's quite intuitive. I, I know how it feels. I know how the medium works. Um, I make or have been making my own um, glade or well, medium, that being um, um, pine turpentine and um, stan linseed oil. Um, so I make that to assist me as a in terms of making enamel painting, um, so that it do, it allows the paint to not dry as quickly as it would. If I didn't use that, it would dry so quickly. But it does make it almost like I'm painting with glaze. It's very thinned, and then I have to gradually allow less medium and more of the paint just to give it the, the painting more body, more texture, more, more depth, of, more depth. So hopefully with oil paint, uh, it won't be as, as, um, as thin. So I'm looking forward to um, trying this out. Um, I've got a few new um, supports. I'm gonna do a few sketches on board. I'll show you. So I've got these. I'm looking to do a couple of small little studies, well, maybe actual paintings, but on small size, just to explore the oil paint, um, just to see how it works. So yeah, looking to try that before starting the actual work. So I, wanna, I would like to spend a little bit of time um, just getting used to, to oil paint um, and the way that it, the way it flows. So yeah, this should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I've got some, um, I've got um, images with some really interesting content that I'm looking forward to working with. Um, yeah, it should be good. Um, with my YouTube channel, it's now, it's, I want to involve my YouTube channel. It's not going to be just general generic interviews with every painter out there. I want it to focus or be uh, an extension of my studio practice, my um, conceptual concerns, and I would like to see how um, I might do some some kind of some, maybe some demonstrations about the, the the paints I use or the medium that I use. Um, I might even do some interviews with people who um, um, that. Um, maybe deal with the subject matter that I work with, maybe theoretically or in terms of art, you know, making artwork. Um, yeah, I, I'm spending time thinking about how I'm going to evolve this channel. And I wanted to share this, um, if you like, my kind of um, summing up the end or the closure of one particular medium and moving to another, another kind of paint. As a uh, uh, you know, for something to um, something new, something fresh to put on my channel. Um, I've let it. I've not been able to work on it for quite a while. Um, I'm looking to. I'm saving up for a, a nice, decent camera. Um, so hopefully, you can do some really good um, recordings with sound quality. So yeah, uh, yeah. Changes. Changes. Uh, in the process, it's it's happening, and hopefully um, other things as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll see. I'm looking forward to it.